A lot of guys have said they want Lomachenko. You're the next on that list. Lomachenko. What I do, YouTube? It's your boy King David in this thing, and I'm back at y'all again with another video. So before I get going on the video, man, y'all know what to do. Go on here, hit the like button, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so we can continue to grow like we need to grow on this channel. All right, so with all that out the window, man, y'all see what the title of the video is, man. Nowhere to run. Devin Haney versus George Cambosis. All right, y'all. So check it out, man. Um, so recent news came out that uh, apparently Vasil Lomachenko has decided to stay in Ukraine and fight for his country. Okay, and as a result, um, the promoter of George Cambosis, Lou DeBella, has said that they have decided to turn their attention towards Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? So. So that's what we're looking at right now, man. That, that's what the situation is. And it's like, you know, in one aspect of this, man, I'm super happy, man. I'm, I'm super happy for Devin that he's getting the opportunity that he deserves. And I'm super happy that we're going to get one of the, we're going to get the biggest fight at lightweight. You know what I mean? Because this is the biggest fight at lightweight. You know, I don't care what nobody say. This is the biggest fight at lightweight. I understand Lomachenko is a star. I understand he's a three-weight division champion. You know what I mean? Olympian, all that. All that good stuff. But this dude just lost. He just lost. Just now lost. We remember it. It wasn't that long ago. Just lost to Teofimo Lopez. You know. Lomachenko, man, he need to get back in line. Really, honestly and truly. You know, so so on one hand, on one part of the uh spectrum, man, I'm I'm super excited for Devin Haney that he's getting the opportunity that he deserves in order to show prove to the world that he's the best. You know what I mean? You know, so that's one end of the spectrum, man. But on the other end of the spectrum, it's like this, man. It's like, why, like, how, why did it have to come to this? You know what I mean? Like, why did it have to come to all this shit, dog? Like, why, how, why in the fuck do, why the fuck do niggas got to get backed into a goddamn corner in order to fight this dude, Devin Haney? You know, it's almost like a motherfucker done pulled up, put a gun to this nigga George again, again bolsters his head in order for him to look to Devin Haney to make this fight happen. Like why do why do all the stars gotta align? Why do why does everything have to? Why does Devin Haney gotta look entertaining? He, he gotta be in the right position. He gotta have it. Why like why all this shit, bro? Why all the bullshit? You know what I mean? This nigga Vasil Lomachenko got called away to go to war. He got called away to go to war, and, and, and even after that. There was still talk of trying to make the fight between him and George Cambosis Jr. Like, what the fuck? How? Why? This nigga's away at war. Shoot. This, this why the fuck is he why was he ever an option? From the moment that Ukraine went to war with Russia, Vasil Lomachenko shouldn't have been an option. Why was he? Why was he? You know? Why did it have to come to all this? It's the same old story with these dudes, man. It's the same old story. We seen what Lomachenko did. Lomachenko, uh, um, when he, you know, when Devin Haney was calling him out and he had those belts and he decided to fight Teofimo Lopez instead of fight George, instead of fighting uh, Devin Haney. Okay, fine. You want to fight Teofimo Lopez? You want to go get those belts over there? Fine. Instead of defending against a mandatory, okay, I get it. But it's some bullshit because Lomachenko applied for the franchise goddamn belt. So if you apply for the franchise belt, then obviously you have no intention of fighting whoever the mandatory is for the WBC belt because the franchise doesn't have mandatory obligations like all the other belts. Then you look at goddamn Teofimo Lopez, the biggest goddamn duck. Ducking like a whack-a-mole. I mean, we remember all that garbage-ass shit that that motherfucker said. 
Jekyll like a whack-a-mole. That nigga just proved that he's the biggest clown on earth. He's definitely number one on King David's clown for clown list. And then you got this dude, George Cambosos, who really, he got a good win versus a Tiafimo Lopez. Knocked him down. You know what I mean? Knocked him down. Had a good showing. Not a great showing, but a good showing. And basically, this nigga tried to create a whole bidding war between Devin Haney and Lomachenko. But at the end of the day, it was very clear from the beginning that he had no intention of fighting Devin Haney and all the intention of fighting Vasil Lomachenko. Because if I'm doing a bidding war, right, if I'm a guy who's trying to enact a bidding war, then I'm going to go with the highest bidder. I mean, these are just, this is just logical shit. So... Devin Haney clearly was the highest bidder. Why? Because he offered a belt. Why? Because he offered more money. Why? Because you still got to fight in Australia like you would have got with Lomachenko. So how is it that he still got outbid by Lomachenko? That goes to show you they had no intention of fighting Devin Haney in the first goddamn place. So it's like, it's, it's you know, in a sense, it's like, man, it's, 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 it's great that we're, we're gonna that it looks like we're gonna get the fight. I'm happy for Devin Haney. It's this is great, but this is just really pathetic that it gotta come to all this shit. That a nigga gotta twist a nigga whole goddamn arm in order to get a fucking fight. That the shit that that literally this dude gotta be away in war in order for this fight to happen. Like, well, why the fuck Loma shouldn't have been an, op- an uh, option from get go. He shouldn't have been an option from get go. I don't care what nobody say. A win over a Richard Comey and a Nakatani does not put Loma, Lomachenko in a position where he should be able to fight the top guy. And just like my guy AB said, if that nigga Lomachenko was really about that action, he should have challenged Devin Haney from get go. That nigga should have been trying to fight Devin Haney. From the moment he gave up that WBC belt to Devin Haney, he should have been trying to get that goddamn belt back instead of trying to fight the guy who beat the guy that he just fucking lost to. So, you know, this is all, you know, I mean, good news, but bad news. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll see what happens with these negotiations because for me right now, man, I just, you know, I, I, I'm just disappointed with all this bullshit that it even had to come to this. But hopefully at this point we can get the fight made and, and we don't see George Cambosis try to pull another fast one. I mean, this nigga might try to fight Ryan Garcia or some shit. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. This nigga might try to fight Ryan Garcia or motherfucking uh, or, or, or what's the nigga who just beat Mark Masayo or some shit. I don't know. This dude might try to fight somebody that we don't give a shit about. You know? But I mean, you know, at the end of all that, at the end of all that, although I have my reservations, I do want to at very least commend or give some credit to George Cambosis because, you know, he could be trying to fight some tomato can. He could be trying to do that. Granted, he would be heavily criticized for that shit, but he could be trying to fight some tomato can, but he's not. He's trying to fight two really good lightweights. Even if he would have fought Lomachenko, that still would have been a good fight. But... We all know that's not the fight that should have happened. Devin Haney is the only fight that should happen right now. Let me know what your thoughts is on this goddamn on this subject. Hit it up in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And everybody, and I do mean everybody, be sure to hit that goddamn like button. But until next time, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace. Ducking like a -a whack-a-mole. Yes, sir. I'm a big-ass motherfucking duck. I'm the biggest duck in the world, and y'all about to see it in three days.